In the previous video, we derived the optimal first order condition for the continuous time Ramsey model, and it looked like this. And now I'm going to use this first order condition to derive the Euler equation in continuous time. So the way we do that is by differentiating this first order condition with respect to time. Remember, this, this tells us, this first order condition tells us uh, information about our optimal choice of consumption at time t, and our Euler equation tells us how that optimal choice of consumption at time t evolves over time. So let's differentiate this with respect to time. And I'll just write it like this. And t, so we're differentiating with respect to t, and t appears twice in this first term. It appears up here in the in the exponent, and also c is a function of t. So we need to use the product rule here. So first term becomes minus rho times e to the minus rho t times u prime of ct plus e to the minus rho t times u prime prime of ct. And then we differentiate the inner function and just get ct dot derivative of c with respect to time. And then in the second term, lambda is just a constant and ct remember was just defined as e to the negative of this integral of all the future interest rates. So if we differentiate this ct with respect to time, we're going to need to use the Leibniz rule again. And this time, the term inside the integral doesn't depend on t, but the bound does. So if you differentiate c with respect to t, you just get the following. Now, this term here is obviously just ct again. And so lambda t times ct from the first order condition it's just going to be equal to discounted marginal utility. E to the minus rho t times u prime ct. And this whole expression is equal to zero, by the way. So now we can divide both sides of this equation by discounted marginal utility. E to the minus rho t times u prime of ct. Let's divide this here, this here. This is going to cancel. The e to the minus rho t here is going to cancel. And here we're going to get a divide by u prime of ct. So just rearranging this term, this expression slightly, we get that rt minus rho is equal to the negative of u double prime ct over u prime ct times ct dot. Now this term here is the absolute risk aversion and when we have crra utility, constant relative risk aversion, constant relative risk aversion. We're going to find that u prime prime c over u prime c times c, so relative risk aversion, is just equal to gamma. Now this is not quite what we have here. We have u prime prime over u prime, but there's no c here. So this is just going to be equal to gamma over ct. So just rearranging that again, we get that ct dot over ct, the growth rate of consumption, is just going to be equal to the difference between the interest rate and the discount rate divided by the coefficient of relative risk aversion, gamma. And this is our Euler equation in continuous time, which you've probably seen before, but I've just derived it in a slightly different way. We're not done yet. We can use this Euler equation to derive the policy function for consumption, and I'll do that in the next video. Thank you very much. See you then.